Hey everybody, this is Jeff Bernard with Solve Systems, and today we're going to build a Microsoft Power App that is a sales tool, so a small CRM, and then we're going to send that information to Microsoft SharePoint List, and then we're going to grab that information once a week on Monday at 6 a.m. to send an update to a list of people in a nice formatted HTML table. So, let's go. Getting right into it, we're gonna make sure that we have a sales list. And this is gonna be bare bones. You can make yours much more elaborate than this or solve systems can if you wanna reach out to us to build you something. So we have a created column. This is provided by SharePoint. We have a created by column, which is also provided by SharePoint. And this is the date on which a record will be submitted to our SharePoint data source. And this is a sales call column. What we're doing here is we have a single line of text and this will just be some information that our sales person submits. So let's go into Power Apps right now. We'll open up Power Apps and we have that money making symbol for our salespeople, a little motivation if you will. We're going to add SharePoint as the data source, which I've already done and to review that, we go to view, go to data sources. And then in data sources, we add SharePoint uh, and if it's not in your app, then you would search it here and you would find it right down there. Next, we're going to go to insert, go over to forms, go down to edit. We will drag down our form and we'll make it a new form. So select new in the default mode selection. And then we'll select the data source. This is going to be our sales app. We'll take out the title. We don't want to use it. Attachments, delete that as well. Move up the bounding box, and then we'll add a button. Bring a button down here, center it nice and pretty. That's a beautiful sales app if you ask me, not. So we'll put submit, submit form, form three, close it off. And that is it for right now. What we're gonna do now is we're just gonna submit a sales call. So we'll hit play. We will type, this was a great call. Submit it. You see the ants going. And then we're good to go. Now we don't have any success messages, but if you were building a production app, you might want to navigate to another screen, set on a timer, and then reset this form, and then have it navigate to a gallery to display the last sales call. That would be a, a standard flow. And speaking of flows, we're going to go into Power Automate, edit a flow. We're going to look for recurrence. And it has recurrence. Okay, we're going to say the interval will be one. The frequency will be a week, not a day. After our recurrence trigger, we're going to add a new step. We'll type SharePoint and we're going to get those items from SharePoint. So we'll type get, get items. We're going to choose the site name. This is our site where our list is at sales app and then we're going to create go to data operations rather than create data then we'll see data operations right here create html table then we'll get the first item in this dynamic content uh, population so value list of items we're going to go show advanced options and we're going to make our own headers rather than have uh, Power Automate make those for us. So we'll use a column called created. And this is going to be the date when this item was created. We'll choose it. Created by. Right here, you want to make the distinction. Start typing in display name and we're going to say created by display name otherwise you will get a odata string that is very long and ugly and you won't be happy with it 
Here we'll type in sales call underscore. And the reason for the underscores is that it's pulling from a SQL table. And so you have to be able to pull those headers out. Type in sales, sales call, there it is. Now we're gonna add some styling. We're gonna add a border and then we're gonna add some padding to the inside of the cell. So to do that, we're gonna add another data operation. And this one's compose. So you see data operations and then compose. And then you're gonna click on the inputs and click expression. And here I'm gonna include in the notes, uh, the descriptions rather, a two pieces of code or expressions. This first one is going to be a table format. So it's going to make a nice visible table and it's pulling off of the create HTML table, this data operation, it's pulling it into here. It's replacing the body and it's adding a table and giving some definition to the border at, uh, you know, one. So that's added there. We're going to add another data operation compose. Okay. We have compose and here, we're going to add some padding to the inside of the cells. And I have my, my code pasted in a little uh, notepad, but again, it'll be in the description of this video. We go to make sure our input and then expression, paste in here, and then save. Lastly, the last step, and I told you this was gonna be quick, is Outlook. And then make sure that you're not picking outlook.com. Make sure you're picking Office 365 Outlook or this will continue to fail if you're newer to Power Automate. They've separated things out quite a bit. Um, and so we'll say send email. And then we'll choose send email v2. We'll put, I'll just put my name. It'll make it easy. We will say sales calls. And we're going to click the body and add the output of compose two. So output of compose two. And if you can hover over these and see what you're putting in there and it helps to label them. I didn't label them for the sake of the video. We're going to save fingers crossed. No errors. Okay, cool. So let's go back to our SharePoint list. We'll verify that we have some information in there. The information we submitted in the power app. And then we're going to test it. So I'll perform this. We'll run the flow. Cross our fingers again. So it shows to recap, you see the sales call in my email here. But to recap, we have recurrence once a week. We have get the items from the SharePoint list. We have create HTML table. We have compose action one, which is adding a border, a nice responsive border to the table. Compose action two, which is adding a, a padding within the cells. And then send all of that information as an HTML table in an email. So now we're gonna look at the email. So we open it up and here we go. This is a nice, beautiful way of seeing an HTML table from a nice sales CRM. So if you need somebody to help you out with this, give me a shout. I would love nothing more than to help. And we'll talk to you next time. Have a good one.